Ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is a billionaire entrepreneur who has gone on adventures in hot air balloons, submarines, and speedboats. And on Sunday, he flew to outer space in his own rocket. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Sir Richard Branson. <laughs> So, you, you, I think that should be a 5.5. I mean, how can you, how can you, 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 take, you take yours off, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 4.93, baby. Oh, uh, what well, is it with you billionaires not wearing shoes? Do you, do you just have the entire yard leathered instead? <laughs> it's lovely to see you again. Nice Welcome to back you. to the cool green hills of Earth. Thank you. It's good. To, uh, it's, I'm just still coming down slowly. I, I, can, I can imagine. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Um, I just want to take Jim. Look at this. Look at this acceleration that you went through on Sunday morning. Do we have this, Jim? There you go. There's there's the release, and then. Firing the rocket, and here's where we see you get jammed back into your seat. There's the drop. Then here we go on the, the slam. <laughs> here it is. At any point during that process, do you think this was not a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> do you know that there are, there are times in the years leading up to it, I was wondering whether the body would cope and so on. The moment I realized the body was going to cope, I just, it, I just enjoyed every minute of it, and it was, uh, you know, it was a, a, a dream, a dream from teenage, teenage years come true, and we had, a, we had a blast. And you had, you had, a, you had a message uh, from space uh, for kids everywhere, Jim. To all you kids down there, I was once a child with a dream, looking up to the stars. Now I'm an adult in a spaceship with lots of other wonderful adults looking down to our beautiful, beautiful Earth. To the next generation of dreamers, if we can do this, just imagine what you can do. Yay! <laughs> now, what? Once you got back down here, I assume a million people called you to congratulate you or to get, or to ask you questions. Do you to, what was, who's the most meaningful contact you got once you got back to the planet? I think it was, it was Buzz Aldrin. I mean, somebody that I, I uh, as a um, teenager, when I watched the moon landing, my dad took me outside and we looked up to the moon and, and with my sisters and, and he just said, there are two people standing on the moon right now. And, and it was, uh, you know, that was so inspirational. And, um, and but the, one of the sad things is we've all been looking backwards to those sorts of flights. And I think now kids can start, you know, looking forwards to... Uh, the chance of actually going to space themselves one day, and, and, and hopefully we, we can contribute to that. You know, a, a lot has been made of the competition between uh, the space billionaires. You know, you and Jeff Bezos, who is going up in seven days at, at this point, and um, not that it matters at this point because you've already been up. But um, <laughs> sorry, Jeff. I mean, just kind of like he licked the donut is what he did. <laughs> But you don't care, right? It didn't matter to you to go up first. It honestly didn't, but... Honestly, it didn't. Honestly, it didn't. No. Uh, I, he, if he had he, asked you not to go up first, would you have said, sure, I don't care? No. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly, no. <laughs> but Elon Musk, who has actually got an a, a orbital uh, program now, he actually stopped by. That was nice. He came by at 3 a.m. to wish you good luck. Again, not with the, uh, the shoes on. Um, <laughs> do you have any advice for Bezos when he goes up? Like anything I, 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 about Look, I, I, I just think that uh, he and the, the people he's bringing up, he's bringing up one wonderful lady who, who I've, I've known over the years. Um, just sit back, relax, look out of the window. Don't, you know, just absorb, in, absorb the view outside and, and think of, yeah, and really, really take it in. I mean, it's something that is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Enjoy it. Was there, was there any moment where you thought it might be nauseous? Because sort of 
Quite famously, people first in zero G often will, you know, they'll pop. <laughs> I, I was nervous stiff I'd let the slide down. I mean, you know, you've got the, the world for filming and there's, there's, imagine just throwing up all over a spaceship. Um, <laughs> Not the um, best but, advertisement <laughs> for your product. It, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, my, my kids just said, don't worry, they'll see you're a human, human being. <laughs> but, um, no, I mean, the moment I, the moment I realised that it, it, it did not give you that kind of feeling, and I just enjoyed it, and, enjoyed it, and, and I, was just, I was relieved, but it was, it was, it, it was ext extraordinary. Now, when you, you called me and asked me if, uh, if I would want to host mm. this thing, I said, that, that sounds very exciting. I'm a huge space fan. I see a lot of value in people going to space. But there's been a lot of pushback from people out there saying, why spend your money to go do that? And not just you and the other billionaires who are creating your own programs, but basically any space exploration at all when there's so many problems here on Earth, with inequality, racism, global warming. What would you say to those people who say that this is a misuse of resources? Well, I can, un I can understand it, but I think maybe they're not fully educated as to what space does for Earth. And, what, mean, do, what does it do for Earth? Uh, well, first of all, people wouldn't be listening to this program, if it, mo most likely, if it wasn't for space. Um, space it, it, it is connecting the billions of people who are not connected, you know, on, the, on telephones, on, on uh, other, uh, other things. Uh, space is, is I mean, I mean, we, every single spaceship that we sent, whether it's Virgin Orbit, which we launched a week before, it, into orbit, putting satellites up there, and monitoring, um, you know, different things around the world, like you know, the degradation of rainforests, or um, monitoring, uh, you know, the, the food distribution, or uh, I mean, the, you know, even monitoring you know, things like climate change and so on. The, these things are essential for us back here on Earth. So we need more. We need more spaceships uh, going up to space. We don't. We don't need less. What's the price right now? <laughs> um, well, you could afford it. <laughs> I did, I did. <laughs> he, he did actually ask if he, if he could come up with me when I invited him to host the program. I was extremely grateful he agreed to host the program. I, I, he then said, well, OK, I can't come up with you if, the, if it's full. Um, oh, I'll, I'll just show you. I don't know if we've got some footage, I think. Jim, do we have footage of this? I promised to take this person to space. So we're taking a um, picture of this person up. We don't want it to weigh, weigh too much because every little bit of weight counts. But I will have still fulfilled the promise of um, taking him to space. Put him in my top pocket. All right, Stephen. <laughs> I'm honored. I'm honored. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> One small photo for Stephen Colbert. <laughs> One giant leap for mankind. I, uh, this has been to space, and I would like to uh, give Thank you the... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, <do> you to... <laughs> would you sign it? <laughs> would you sign it? That way I, you can... I, I, I would can, be... I, be more valuable on eBay now. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit small to get my whole signature yeah. on, but I will try. <laughs> the other sir. <laughs> the... <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. Now, <laughs> Right after you landed, right after you landed, you talked about um, an Omaze uh, auction that you're running for charity. What, what is that? Well, uh, we, want, we want many, 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 many people around the world to be able to go to space, but without paying anything, uh, um, apart from a $10 um, uh, raffle ticket. So we, we've, we've gone to a charitable foundation. Um, uh, Amaze will uh, run a, a global competition. Uh, and if you win, um, you and uh, you can have a friend. We'll go to space on one of our early flights, um, and uh, I will take you around the uh, the spaceport. I'll do a, you know one of those chocolate factory walk walkabouts. <laughs> um, I'll put on all the gear, <laughs> and, then, uh -huh. um, and then the the ten dollars will amount up, and and hopefully, if enough people enter, we'll we'll be able to then have the charitable foundation find. Um, you know, many, many people who can actually go to space for nothing. And, and I think, that, you know, this is something which could be re really exciting in the years What do you think the value of that is for people who can't afford to go to space? What, I mean, um, I don't mean to be facetious. What is the sort of the, 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 the mental, the spiritual, the intellectual value of having gone? 
I think, you know, I honestly think that it, um, there, there's a wonderful book called The Overview Effect, which, and there's only 500 people who've ever been to space, but it's a book that's interviewed those 500 people. Um, they've come back, um, uh, I think, slightly changed. And, and, I, and, uh, and, you know, you can't look at this Earth and think um, uh, that uh, you're not, you, 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 you see the beauty of it from space. And, you, and, and I think all of those people have come back you know, really wanting to improve it. And, and that's what I hope will happen with these other people who go. Well, uh, Richard, um, hot jets and safe landings. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Yeah. You can enter a trip. You can enter to win a trip to space with Virgin Galactic on omaze.com. So Richard Branson, everybody. We'll be right back with Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton.